beautiful clear morning today a little bit crisp but it's going to be warm around about 27 degrees and I'm going to go off on a little uh, adventure back to the first place I ever took a photograph and put it on Instagram anybody who's been following me there will know it's the silo with the fig tree growing in it so we're going to head down there if the wind stays down and I don't get in any trouble for it I'd like to fly my drone around there then I'm going to go do a little bit of exploring in that sort of vicinity so hang around and see what happens There's my landmark, an old silo with a beautiful fig tree growing in it. It's quite remarkable. So I got the drone up, took a quick picture of my new Australian Backroad Motorcycle Touring t-shirt, then did some great flying around the silo and forgot to start recording video again. I was so pissed off I went back in the car a few days later to do it properly. I hope I got some good drone footage there. The local farmer just came by on his tractor there. He came through here. Give me a wave. I gave him the thumbs up. He gave me the thumbs up back. So I guess he didn't mind me stopping here. <coughs> I'm sure a few people take photographs of that. I just think it's really cute. Somehow that fig tree has managed to grow up in the middle of it. Poke one limb out through a hole in the side of it and grow up through the top of it. Remarkable. Right, let's go do a bit of exploring. Strong. Well, the road I wanted seemed to have gone past, so oh no, Stibard Lane. This is what I wanted Stibard Lane. Mario. Nice field of dandelions. Bloody hell. It's 
think they're replacing uh, some of the sugar plantations down here, sugar cane, with some. I think it's macadamias. Macadamias are just getting so powerful. But I wonder at what point they'll be oversubscribed with farmers. That's what happened to the tea tree industry. Like these weren't planted that long ago, these trees. It's amazing how fast things grow in Australia. I just try to be careful that <coughs> none of this is actually somebody's bloody private place. That's all right. Still a public road. Got the markers there. And it's not going through somebody's yard, which <laughs> some of them do. Some of these roads. But I just feel it's rude to do that. Should be a right turn just over here somewhere. Here it is. into Tuckeyan Island Road, because basically what we're doing is exploring around Tuckeyan, the Tuckeyan Swamp, Tuckeyan Nature Reserve and Tuckeyan Island. Now it's called an island just because it's basically in the middle of a bog and there must be a solid bit. <laughs> well, I hope this is coming out as clear as what I can see. This is a beautiful clear day. Because we're in the middle of a wet uh, cycle, everything's gorgeously green. That's the end of Tuckeyan exploring. That was pretty cool. And it was good. Hopefully I got some uh, drone shots of, of the... Um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> of the fig tree growing in the silo. Plenty of places to explore around my way. There always seem to be more to find. And that's just awesome. Anyway, that's it for today's little exploring adventure. I do hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching as always. I do hope you'll come back to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. You could subscribe and make that more likely to happen. <laughs> anyway, all the best people. Be safe, be happy, and catch you on the next one.